Hey guys, and good morning. Although, it's probably, I don't, actually don't know what time it is. It is 11.15, so we are um, approaching the noon hour, and I am just now barely getting on here. So this morning, I've gotten up and got ready. I went to work, got a hot chocolate. I answered a few emails. I sent off a few emails and made a few phone calls. Now I'm at the house because the refrigerator's coming in today. And let me show you some exciting news. Exciting news, y'all. Okay, so before we can move in, we had to have closed on the Mulberry House, which was yesterday, and we closed, but we also needed a green tag. Ooh, baby, we got a green tag, so now that means I can start moving in stuff. And we won't be moved in tonight because Marvin has not put up the blinds yet, but he will, hopefully today-ish, start putting up blinds and such, and then yeah, we'll be We'll be kind of good to go. I bought a mop bucket. I bought a mop so that I could start redoing the floors because they had a cleaning guy, but I need to do it. I need to do it again because people have been walking in and out. Plus the, um, maybe that's Best Buy calling me about the refrigerator. Hello? Hello? We are calling you. Okay, as it turns out, it was not Best Buy calling me. It was somebody trying to fish for my information because they want it was from AT and T, and I just made a payment to my AT and T account today, and like put in the last four of your social, put in your social security number, put in your passcode. Um, okay, no, thank you. That's going to be a hard pass. I'm not going to do that. So the weather is gorgeous here today, and we have the green tag. Although they have to email, I guess, some, um, some information over because there was a little note to do that. But other than that, we're good to go. So I am, as soon as this refrigerator is in, and it's not one o'clock, I'm gonna scooch on over to my house and bring some clothes over here and get started moving in. Because, um, yeah, I'm excited. And we have lots to move over. And we're gonna try to be intentional about the move over. So like, for example, like um, if I'm bringing, like, oh, I have these 10 shirts. Do I really wear these 10 shirts? Do I really love these 10 shirts? Do they spark joy? I've never watched that show, but yeah, I'm kind of into that. Hold on. I came back, just had to go put my jacket down because I'm hot. We have the heat on in here. I don't know what's gonna happen with the fireplace stuff. Let me show you. The guy came the other day to put in the fireplace stuff and that's all fine and dandy. However, he put in the lava rock, whatever this stuff is called. I don't know what it's called. Then he sprinkled some brown stuff on top. Well, when they took it out and put it back in, they have this stuff, which is like fiberglass or something. So I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. And then the, of course the logs are not in. And then we noticed that there was, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this because of all the glare, but right here, you're not gonna be able to see it. Too much glare. Anyways, right here, there's a little imperfection. Can you see if I put my hands behind it? No, not really, whatever. Let's quit wasting time. So it looks like something like damaged it. I don't know, like, Something damaged it. So if you can see it once it's in, which I think you're gonna be able to, I don't know that I will be happy with that. Um, <clears throat> and also there's like insulation or something there. So that's not supposed to be there. So I don't know when that guy's coming back, but the painters have come and touched up everything. Like I told you guys a little bit ago, I've got the mop situation handled. I brought some Clorox disinfecting wipes from the house. I brought some soap. I brought, I brought cleaning things. And probably gonna try to like start cleaning some of the areas. We haven't even ordered furniture yet. We're not doing that until probably 
maybe later today or next week, probably next week actually, and it'll take about a week to come in, which is fine. We're in no rush to sit down on the couch, I am, but we'll just have to make do. And we're gonna go get bar stools from At Home, I think is where I saw some that I liked. So we're gonna go look there, probably tonight-ish. Not sure, but it's Friday! And we got a green tag, so I am super happy. Carpet's in, laundry room's here, so I could bring some clothes over to wash if I had any. We washed clothes last night though, but maybe we'll bring some over to do some tonight and start getting moved in and getting all comfy and stuff. Not gonna lie, I'm super excited. I just made some guys move their truck because they parked this big truck in front of my house and I'm like, hey guys, are you bringing me something? Because if not, you're gonna have to move your stuff because I'm expecting a delivery, a refrigerator. I even brought water bottles to like put in Refrigerator is, ooh, probably wasn't supposed to close that. Guess they painted it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited. I just feel like I'm like walking through my house all excited and stuff like that. So, forgive me. Sorry, not sorry, actually. Sorry, not sorry. I'm excited. I hope you guys are sharing in my excitement. And while I wait, I'm gonna get the cleaning stuff prepped and if I have time before the internet people come, I'm gonna start editing some videos. Time for an Our Grey House update. Wow! Look, y'all, we have a refrigerator. Isn't that exciting? So the next thing that's happened, whoa, why am I just, whoa, where'd you go, Lisa? The next thing that's happening today is we are getting internet and cable and phone. So that's supposed to happen at one. It's approximately 12.15 now. So I'm gonna run to the other casa really quick and I'm gonna grab some things and start moving in. So <laughs> I'm excited and it's like, it's almost like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's happening. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna go get some clothes and some things from the kitchen and I have baskets to put some of our stuff in, in the pantry, because I want it looking super cute. And yeah, I'm gonna get some more different containers. Um, I've already emptied out. Before you can really use the water and the ice in the fridge, just so you know, you have to do um, two to three gallons, like pull out two to three gallons of the water, like empty it out. And so I just emptied it out into the bucket that I have right there. And I put it in the yard because I'm like, hey, water my grass, right? And then um, on the ice, you have to empty out at least two loads of the ice. So, and it takes, I forget how long you said, to get down to the correct temperature to really use it for like food and stuff, it has to get down to zero for the freezer and something for the whatever. I don't know what it was. Let me see if it says on here. Uh, Whoops, I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Maybe I better read the directions before I start messing with this. But anyways, so I have this here and um, I don't know. I don't know what else, I don't know. I need to read directions. I do have some paperwork here, but I don't think it's the, oh, it is the manual. <laughs> so I will read, I will read up on that. But what I need to know, um, prior to using said materials. And so anyway, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go get a load of stuff to move over. I'm also gonna remember to get some paper, paper bags, trash bags, because I don't have any here. And I'm using Dollar General, grocery, I mean the Dollar General bat yellow bags that they give you and that's just not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna start moving stuff over. So what, what, it's gonna be awesome. I think we're pretty sure, like 99.99% .99 sure we're still gonna spend the night at the house because there's just not really a way for us to move the bed over, but um, we can move the bed over tomorrow. And um, yeah, so exciting. Exciting stuff is happening at our gray house. And I appreciate you guys being along for the ride. So, okay, all right, let's go, let's go get a load. Okay, update for the afternoon. 
The cable company, well the fridge is in. You can see the fridge, so that's a plus. But I already showed you that, I think. I got a few things moved in, not much. But also the cable came out and so it didn't come in today because he's like, oh, well, I could run a, this the cable across the thing. And I was like, okay. Or he goes, or we could go under. And I'm like, okay, that sounds great. And he goes, yeah, they could come out tomorrow. And I said, tomorrow? Okay, that sounds great. Is it extra charge? No extra charge. And I was like, fantastic, let's do it. Hello, friend. You weren't invited to the party. Um, so then he says, gets on the phone with somebody. I don't know what he's doing. And he says, the person on the phone says, oh yeah, it takes about five to seven business days. Okay, five to seven business days is different than tomorrow. But the guy did acknowledge that somebody could come out possibly as early as tomorrow, but normally it takes about like two days. So probably Monday or Tuesday. Well, Tuesday's when the TV comes and we were hoping to be moved in by the end of next week but another development has happened with that. But anyway, so back to the cable. As soon as I see the cable guys coming out here to the people to draw, drill and bury the cable, I can call the internet cable. <laughs> as soon as the contractor that's gonna bore underneath my driveway to put the cable, um, I see them, as soon as I see them or see the tag on the door that they've been here, then I can in turn call the cable company and say, come out right away. And they'll come out pretty quickly, he said. So I was like, okay. So then in other news with the appraisal, yeah, I don't think we're gonna make appraisal in this house, which is a bummer because I've been having such good luck with all my appraisals. And this one's just gonna be short because it's a new build. Construction costs are really high right now. And uh, yeah. <sighs> Not exactly what we wanted to hear, but it is what it is. And now we're just going to um, make the best of it. And I'm waiting to hear from my lender what our plan B is. We haven't actually technically, or at least up until this point, unless that's who just texted me, um, we haven't actually received the appraisal back. And no, that wasn't the appraisal. So we haven't actually received the appraisal yet. So I'm waiting for that. And if it comes in at value, great. If it comes in under value, what's plan B? So I've already asked my lender, I said, hey, go ahead and start you know, creating some scenarios for plan B or C or D, whichever one needs to do, happen. And as I've told everybody, especially on the journey when we you know, have encountered any obstacle, God did not bring us this far to just bring us this far, period. There's no but or well or maybe or no. God did not bring us this far to just bring us this far. God has a plan, God's timing is perfect. It's proven itself over and over in this build process. So whatever happens is what is supposed to happen and that's going to bring him honor and glory. So that's, that's what I'm banking on. So I just turned on my worship music after I heard the appraisal may not be coming in right. And just, you know what? Hey, hey, we're just going to praise him no matter what. So I typically don't get too spiritual religious, but I wanted to share that with you because it's on my heart. It is something that I'm dealing with right now as we speak. Also, my daughter-in-law's father, Larry, had multiple bypass surgery today. He is, his heart is beating on its own, so they closed him back up, and now he's going into recovery. So that's another praise report. Um, he had a heart attack. I don't think I told you guys. I think he, they said he had had a heart attack at some time in the recent past. They weren't exactly sure when, but he wasn't feeling well, so he went to the doctor, and then they said, oh no, you need to go to the ER right now. So he did, and they did some tests, and they scheduled the, uh, he's got some other stuff going on, but I'm not sure what. But um, he is, he had surgery today, and so far he's come out of it okay. So lots of prayers going up for that as well. Lots of things to be praying about each and every day, but um, some of these things are just a little bit more personal right now. But I've got, um, oh, well, I could give you a fridge tour. I have like no lights on in here. I need to turn on some lights. 
So I could give you a fridge. I'm trying to see if it's like light enough. So here's our fridge. What is this? Oh, it's more plastic to take off. So here's our fridge. It is a Samsung. And I've already got water, so if you're thirsty. Also, I've already drained this water. You had to drain it like, I think they said three times. I'm not exactly sure. I have not done the ice yet. I'll have Marvin do the ice. But, um, so that's our fridge. And, oh, I can do a pantry tour. <laughs> okay, whoops. See, I'm not sure about where all the light. Oh, look, I've got two light switches. I'm just not sure which goes to which. Um, but I will figure it out. And I've started to put stuff in the pantry. So let me show you the pantry. Here's our pantry so far. Just got a few things going on in there. Nothing too major yet. This is the bedding for the guest bedroom. It comes in this little tote bag, which is super cute. But it's just like a little bedspread with two shams. And yeah. So I like it. I'm just going to probably get some dark gray sheets to go with it. And then we'll be done with that part. I did bring in a plant. So we have some life in the house. Okay, this whole time I've not been filming in movie mode. So I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. But oh, so as I was saying, here's the plant that I brought in. I bought that container specifically for us having open houses. I guess I'll put it on this other side. And uh, I brought it in specifically for the open house. Somebody has parked out front. They've not really parked in front of our house, but just kind of in front of our house. So yeah, uh, in the office. The only thing I've put in the office so far is that thing that I bought yesterday from Kirkland's, which was the uh, letter thing. That was cute. I had a $10 off, a $10 purchase. I think it was $12.99 or $11.99 or something like that. So I got it for the low, low price of like $3. And I've just got cleaning supplies here. I do have some cat food. <laughs> it's gonna go under the counter, but I um, haven't done that yet. And because I don't know what they're doing with it. But I will show you guys the closets later. I actually need to go because, okay, let's show you the closets. Here's the laundry room. I've got some hangers ready for a load of laundry to come out of the dryer. This is the secondary closet where we're putting our off season clothing. And so I've already got Marvin's long sleeve shirts. He doesn't typically wear long sleeve shirts unless it's like super cold. And those are my jackets. I wear them some, but so I just keep those in here for now. Over here, I'm starting to put in some stuff in here. Just some of Marvin shirts. Mom, Marv, Marvin. Marvin gets the top because he's taller and his t-shirts will go with this front part of it. And then my stuff will go on that part. And then our long hanging stuff goes over here. The first half will be mine and the second half will be Marvin's as you can see. This is our new bedspread. I absolutely love it and I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's really pretty nice. It's a velvet, or maybe it's velour, pure velvet three piece quilt set. So it's king size. So I have this and it has two pillow shams, pillow covers that go with it. So that is that. Marvin's going to be putting up the blinds throughout the house. So he hasn't started yet, but he's set them out and all the places that they go to make sure we have everything that we need. I was gonna start putting some stuff away. I just brought a few things from the house, but then I noticed that there's all this like, um, I don't know, like overspray of the texture or something. It's all, feels rough right here, like it wasn't sanded down right. So this is gonna be my side here, and then Marvin's side's gonna be over there, and we're gonna share the middle. In the middle, I'm going to put stuff like the blow dryer because we both use that. Our brushes will go in the middle in that top drawer probably. And we just have, we have a lot of room in this bathroom, which is awesome, but also like we have a lot of room in this bathroom. And it's definitely not a complaint to have this much room in a house. Storage is always like something that people are looking for and searching for like, oh, I need more storage. 
And in this house, we definitely have a lot of storage space, which is amazing and awesome. So we're not really gonna be able to move fully in until, I think like we closed on the loan, but because now we have this little snag with the appraisal, I don't know if he's gonna go ahead and let us move in early, but there are still some things that need to be done to the house. For example, that part I just showed you with the drawers, he still has to put the hardware on, on the barn door and the glass fireplace needs to be addressed. We're missing a cabinet door over there. So I just moved just a few things over and then I'll move the rest um, as we get closer to knowing. Hopefully, if, if the closing on the house is delayed, what I'm hoping is our builder Tommy will let us move in early, just kind of like tenants or something. Because we have insurance on here, we have an alarm on here, we have security, so it's, you know, nothing's gonna happen to the property, but we won't have a place to stay after the 18th. <laughs> and it may take like two weeks to get this done. <laughs> and we barely have, we don't even have two weeks. So uh, before we're supposed to be moved out and that other house is supposed to be clean. So, this weekend, we're gonna move in the Marvin's tools and such, but we're not gonna move our bed over until we know a little bit clearer definition on the um, house situation. So, um, yeah, that's where we are right now. Aslan has a game at seven o'clock tonight. That's our granddaughter, one of our granddaughters, out of many granddaughters. Um, she's the oldest, um, and she's Gavin's daughter, so. <gasps> Maybe that's Mr. Har. Let's go see who it is. We have a guest. Hey. Hey, Mr. Har. Welcome to the vlog. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. So that's our granddaughter right over there, about too fat, number seven. She's a freshman on varsity, the varsity team, so she's pretty awesome. Right here, seven! Seven! Let's go, Ashley! Yeah. Oh, no, that's awesome. I mean, no, The game is over with, and now I'm gonna go home. Marvin's inside doing some last minute finish ups to the blinds. I'm gonna stop by Dollar General if it's open, and then I'm gonna go home, and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I'm gonna say goodnight now, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.